Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I want to show you why only sharpening your, your image or why only applying a sharpening filter to your photo may not be able to save your image in most cases and I want to show you why a pixelated image like the one I have right here on the screen may not be able to be recovered or rescued if at all you apply a sharpening effect. So as you're looking at this pixelated image and the pixels in the photo, but I'm to zoom in a little bit more. You can see that when we sharpen the image, it may be able to pronounce or make, make these pixelated areas even appear vividly in the photo, making it look worse at the end of it all. So let me first of all show you the very first technique and how you can go about that in this case. And if at all you are watching and haven't hit the like button, I just request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to more people out there who are having same issues or who are also wanting to improve or upscale their, Im their images in Photoshop. So right now I'm just going to create a copy from the background and hit Ctrl Command J on the keyboard. And usually this is going to be a sharpening layer. I'm just going to zoom out. So usually we create a layer from the background layer by hitting Ctrl Command J on the keyboard. Then we come to filter and we come to other and we apply a high pass filter. So with the high pass filter, we usually move the radius up to a point when you feel like we are really comfortable with the details in the photo. So just come and come and hit OK. So we come and change the blend mode from normal and we change it all the way to linear light. So I'm just going to come and put that to linear light. So you can see image looks sharp, but it is really looking weird because now the pixelated areas in the photo have been over pronounced. So even if you just come and you turn down the opacity, of the sharpening it is really going to still be evident when you zoom in you can see the pixelated areas in the photo have really been over pronounced and it is not even doing a very good job and you can see how weird the areas that are pixelated are even shining more in the image you can see how worse that looks so you can see the before and after so in this case sharpening may not be able to save the image so remember we are looking at a pixelated image so just want to get rid of that kind of problem which is the pixelation in the photos and get rid of them so that we can upscale and have the best out of the image so sharpening alone may not be able to be a solution for a pixelated image whose resolution you want to upscale so let me show you another technique so i'm just going to delete this because that is not the way i want to recommend in this tutorial so in this second technique, which is going to be the most and biggest emphasis for this tutorial, we are just going to first of all come to Photoshop and you come to the preferences and under preferences we are just going to come down to technology previews. So under technology previews, we have this option which says enable preserved de details 2.0 upscale. So under this, you can see that this box initially is not checked. So if I told you just want to have a sharp image and preserve the details within that photo come and make sure you tick or check this option and after doing that because this is going to be the major emphasis for the next step in this tutorial so make sure it is checked and come and hit ok so after doing that we're just going to come to this image right here make sure you, ha you always have a backup copy so i'm just going to hit ctrl command j on the keyboard and we look at the photo right now so it is on this layer, I know it is going to also be applying the effect on the background there, but for purposes of security, always back up and have a copy out of the background layer. So after doing that, just come with our new layer selected and we're just going to come to image and we're going to come to the image size. So under image size, what we want to do, you have to look and analyze at these settings right here. So first of all, look at the image size that we have initially so this is the before of our image size which is 2.4 mb so the image size is way down to 2 megabytes and the dimensions of a photo are right at 825 pixels by 1032 pixels so we have to leave this to fit to original size just right there so the most important bit is Make sure that you come and change this to pixels because we are dealing with the pixels in the image. So let me just try zooming in for you right here. 
so let me just zoom in a little bit more so that you can look at the pixelated area even better so you can see that the pixelated area in the photo is really evident and is showing so so much in this image i'm sorry about the background noise at all you can hear a little bit of a background noise so you can see the pixelated areas are really more and evident in this very photo so after doing that or after ensuring that you're looking at those pixelated areas we just want right now to come to this photo and you look at the resolution so under or on top of the resolution you can see that the resolution of the image is 70 pixels per inch i hope you can see those pixels per inch and with the resolution or before you can even plan on the resolution always make sure the resample has been checked so make sure this option has been checked and preserve details 2.0 has also been activated or selected so after doing that we're just going to come to the resolution so you have to come and first of all change this to pixels of course so come to the resolution and we're just going to be playing around with, with the resolution up to a point when the longest side of the image since this is a portrait is in a range of 4000 pixels so for this case i'm just going to start typing in different values so let me just try 100. Uh, 100 takes us to 1,400 pixels. So let me just try 150. 150 is around 2,211, and that is not yet there. Let me just try 200 pixels per inch. This is around 2,949. 2, so let's just try around 3,000 pixels per inch. And when we do that, you can see this is in the range of 4,000 pixels, which means that it is really a great uh, resolution. So you can see that the image size has also been able to increase in this photo. You can see it was initially 2.4 megabytes, and right now it is 44.7 megabyte, megabytes, meaning the size of the image has been increased. So I'm just going to click right here to zoom out because when you change the resolution of the image the image is going to be zoomed all the way in so i'm just going to zoom in a little bit to the eye so that you can see the reference for this so just look at the eye area remember it was initially pixelated so when i left click right here you can see the before and the after before after the before is really pixelated and remember in the first technique when we were just sharpening, it was only sharpening the pixels and it was making those pixels more vivid and more evident in the image. But right now in the after you can see the pixelated area is really gone. Wow, look at this. Before, after, before, after. And if at all you feel like it has added noise in the image, just come and play around with the reduced noise slider and you can get rid of the noise in the image. And now come and simply hit OK. So when you hit OK, it is going to take a long or quite a while because the image size is really way too big. So depending on how fast your computer is, it may take a couple of seconds to load back into Photoshop showing you the resolution. And after it has finished loading, you're going to notice that the image is going to be zoomed all the way in like we previously had in that image size window. So you can see that the image is all the way zoomed in so by using ctrl command minus on the keyboard you can see right now we have a really better looking image which is not pixelated you can see for example in the eye area it is not pixelated and if at all you just want to take this uh, a level higher what we want to do we can add a little bit of sharpening for example to specific areas in the image for example the eyes so i'm just going to create another layer Control command g on the keyboard and i'm going to come and now sharpen the image remember when you're sharpening your image the pixelated area has been gotten rid of and the pixelated area may not be overemphasized in this case because we have first of all gotten rid of the biggest issue and right now we can be able to sharpen so only sharpening may not be able to save the image but first of all getting rid of the pixelated areas in the image can really get your image to look better so i'm just going to come filter and come to other and come to high pass 
and using a high pass field of around let me just go to around one one looks great and hit ok change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to a linear light and that is going to sharpen the image and make it look quite better so after doing that you can see that the image is really looking better and sharper but remember we just don't want to apply the overall sharpening to the image so in order to do that we're just going to create a layer mask right there and hit ctrl or command i to invert that effect ctrl command i to hide the effect and now you're just going to come right here using a white brush and simply sharpen the areas that we want to sharpen in the image so using a white brush you're just going to sharpen the areas that we want and this is going to make the image look better right now so basically this is how you can make the image look better by not only sharpening but also dealing with pixels and if at all you found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you not subscribed this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating